All right, boys and girls, we are ready to read in our reader. I am so excited. I love to um, read, and boys and girls, I'm so excited that you're continuing to practice your reading. You want to become a better reader. Remember, practice makes what? Progress. Not going to be perfect. That's okay. We're not looking for perfection. We're looking for progress to continue to do our best. All right, so we're on I Can Read Well book four. And we're going to start on page 15, a one and a five. All right. <clears throat> let's see what we have here in our picture. And let's go to the title. It says, No Time to Play. Boy, we're seeing that A-Y a lot, aren't we, boys and girls? A-Y, making the long A sound. Chip has work to do. This is Chip. He will not play. He must run to get nuts to eat. He fills his nest with the nuts. Chip will keep them in his nest. He can not see the nuts if snow is on the ground. Now is the time to work. All right, so hopefully you were following along as we read that. Boys and girls, we were talking about Chip. Everybody say hi, Chip. Why can't Chip play? Did you hear what is said in the story? He cannot play because what? Yeah, he has work to do. All right, just like uh, sometimes we have work to do. And we need to get our work done. We should be sitting down, getting our school to work done, whatever mommy and daddy are telling us to do. And then is our playtime, just like for Chip. Where's he putting the nuts, kindergarten? He's putting them in his nest. Good. And why, why does he have to store this food? What did the story tell us? All right, because if there's snow on the ground, he can't find the nuts. So he has to store it. That means put it away before the snow comes. Good job. We talked that back in the fall when the squirrels were getting ready for winter and they're storing the nuts up so they have food for the winter. All right, so great job reading. Let's go ahead, turn the page. We're gonna see a family. You can tell looking at the picture, our family is sitting where? We have some clues there. We see dad's got his Bible. They're sitting in church. Okay, and we're going to see CH word, church, isn't that fun? It's got a CH at the front and a CH at the back. All right, so let's read about our family here. It says, we go to church. <clears throat> this is the day we go to church. Here's the AY again. I will dress fast. I will take my pal. Remember, pal's like a friend. We've talked about that before. Her name is Jill. You see Jill? I will read my Bible. We will drive home in our car. Good job. All right. So what is the family? What's the family doing in our story? Okay. They're going to church. Good. Who is he taking to church? Do you remember what he said? He said his friend, his pal, Jill. So we see Jill. And what is he going to read at church, boys and girls? All right, he's going to read the Bible. Good job. And listening to the story, how will they get home? What did the story tell us? They will get home in 
our car. Good job. So make sure you're reading those words. Got a lot of words in there that you can sound out and read. So proud of you. We're going to skip the vocabulary page for today. And we're going to move over to page 18 and 19. All right. 18 and 19. I'm going to fold it back. But you can see that our friend is playing with a what? She's playing with a kite. Let's pretend we have a kite. Remember we had our song about a kite and the kite? We need what kind of day for a kite to fly? We need a little wind. We've had some of those lately on spring days. Spring is often a time we have a little wind. Not too much. We don't want to lose our kite. But the kite needs some wind to fly and that's what we're going to see. And we're going to find out the name of our friend in this story. And it's going to also have a long A sound at the end. A K. Have you guys noticed like Miss Paris has all these words that have A-Y that we've seen lately? We have seen a lot of them. So you should be really good at reading A-Y words. All right. So here we are. And the title says kite fun looks like a fun time k will fly her kite it will sail up in the sky it might go out of sight will it fly to the clouds? It's a question. They're asking us. All right, so who has our kite, boys and girls? All right, we said that was Kay. We looked at her name. And what did the story say that it might be so high it might what? Go what? Yeah, out of sight. Do you know what that means when we say something's out of sight? It means you can't see it anymore. You can't see it. That's pretty high. All right, I'm going to turn it over so you can see, and there's the kite. All right, let's keep reading. I hope K will keep the cord in her hand. It's like the string, or that we might call it a string or a cord. It is time to eat now. K got her kite down fast. It is work to fly a kite, but it is fun. Yes, it is work, but it is fun. All right, so we said K had to keep what in her hand? Okay, they called it a cord. We might call it a string. Got to hold on to that. And she brought it down pretty fast. What did she need to go do? Did you catch what she had to go do in the story? She had to go what? Yeah, she had to go eat. She, time to eat. And then, boys and girls, what did, she, what did she say it's like to fly a kite? She said it's work, but it's also what? Fun. It's work, but it's also fun. Yeah, there's a lot of things like that, isn't it, that we do? It's work, but it's fun, and that's okay. That is all right. That makes it fun to do, even though it is sometimes a little bit of work. All right, great job on the stories. We're going to read some more again tomorrow. And again, you might have read these stories. I am so proud of you. Give yourself two thumbs up. That is awesome. Love, love, love that you're doing your best reading. All right, today I brought... Oh, don't get scared. It's a snake. He's called... Everybody say, sneaky snake. Sneaky snake. You hear that S at the beginning? All right. I have on sneaky snake some pictures. All right. But here's where he's getting a little sneaky. He doesn't want to know the letter sound of these pictures at the beginning. He's kind of sneaky. He wants to know the letter sound at the, what's the opposite of beginning, boys and girls? At the end. All right, so we're going to see if we can do this and help Sneaky Snake fill up here. 
So, this is a picture of what? Cat. We don't want to know C, cat starts with. We want to know, Sneaky Snake wants to know the N sound. Cat. What letter is that? Can you guys all say it? You should be saying letter T. Awesome. Okay, help me out on these, okay? Sneaky Snake, that's a number. Five. He doesn't want to know F. He wants to know the letter at the end. Sneaky Snake wants to hear five would be what letter? Very good. V. Awesome. All right. The water fossa has a drip. Drip. What sound am I making at the end? Sneaky Snake wants to know the what sound? All right. I hope you're shouting it out. P. Drip. All right. You guys are super helpful. All right, Sneaky Snake. Dress. Sneaky Snake wants to know the sound at the end, which is a dress, which would be what? You can hear the sound the snake makes. Let me hear that. S Remember Sammy? Sammy's name started with an S. Snake started with an S, and he made the S. Everybody say that. S Good job. All right. We're going to call this a baseball. Sneaky Snake wants to know what he hears at the end. O, which is an L, great job. All right, listen for this one. We know it's a box. B's at the beginning, but the N sound, Sneaky Snake wants to hear box. X, very good. X, X, X. Remember we had that on our handwriting earlier. If you're looking at the video from today, the X, X at the end of a word. It says X, like at the beginning of X-ray, but at the end of the word, Max, box, axe, it's X. All right, how's Sneaky Snake looking so far? Say these letters with me. T, V, P, S, L, X. All right, Sneaky Snake's not done. There's some more. We need to help Sneaky Snake. Still wants the sounds at the end. Kind of sneaky like that. Drum. What sound do we hear? Everybody should be saying letter M. Good job. Let's look at the next one. Everybody say web. What sound does Sneaky Snake want, kindergarten? Web wants a B. Might look a little backwards on there for you, but we're looking for the B sound. All right. Here we go. Frog. G, g, g. That would be the letter. Can you see that? Say that with me. G. Awesome. All right, Sneaky Snake, we're almost to the end. Bed. What letter Sneaky Snake want, boys and girls? Should be saying letter D. Bed starts with a B, the D at the end. Remember, B's have bellies, D's don't. Duck. Sneaky Snake is looking for a duck. I know it sounds like a C, too, but it's a K. It has a CK sound at the end. And Sneaky Snake, we've made it almost to your tail. Moon. What letter, boys and girls? Looking for the letter... N. We hear mm at the beginning, but Sneaky Snakes wants the letter at the end, which is the N. And guess what? We made it to the end of Sneaky Snake's tail. Good job. Let's say those letters together. M, B, G, D, K, N. Good job. Now we say goodbye to Sneaky Snake. He did try to be a little sneaky wanting those sounds at the end, didn't he? All right, your handwriting today. Again, you're just about done, boys and girls. 517, 518. The front's going to be pretty simple. You're going to have to circle the word to match the picture. Pretty simple at the bottom. Circle sounds and mark vowels. We've done that a lot. Read the words. Mom and Dad, they should have no trouble reading any of these words on the page. 
If they're uh, having some trouble, make sure you're using those strategies of marking the vowels. Boys and girls, this part, uh, mom and dad, you might need to make sure that they get the directions on this. Boys and girls, you're going to do a dot to dot, but there's no numbers and no letters. So you might be saying, how do I connect a black dot to black dot? You're going to connect the dots by putting the words in order, but you're going to have to look at the beginning letter. So it started at the red star with an A, ape, and then it went from A to what letter, boys and girls? A to B, B, bike. Oh, I'm sorry, wait. Connect the dots by putting the long vowel words in order. Ape, A, long, and then A, E, zeal, I. So let me put that in writing at the top. All right. That might get a little confusing. It is A, long A, and then E, I, O, U. So mom and dad might need some help on this one. The dot to dot, all right, kindergarten, dot to dot, by putting the long vowel words in order, A, E, I, O, U. And this would be definitely one we would have done together, practice reading words, all either magic e two vowels go walking all right and then it's a fun color page if you want when you're done but again long vowels words in order a e i o u if that's a little different than maybe we've done before all right you're just about done with your phonics book boys and girls i'm so proud of you so don't give up keep doing your best and trying super hard good job give yourself a finger clap